Hello Mouses! Well today we have the news on Tuesday. We've got a few things I want to talk to you about today. The first of which is the Ferrari around Mega Upload. If you don't know about this, Mega Upload disappeared offline because it got busted by the FBI effectively. The people that are involved with it have been arrested and a lot of user data has been seized by the police. And this includes not only who people are who have been using the site but what they've been watching how long they've been watching it for, and things like that. So if you've been watching films on there and they were basically uploaded illegally, the police in America know that you've done it. So, good luck there. What can I say? <laughs> you shouldn't have done it, that's, that's the thing. But it's unlikely that they'll go for everyone that's been on a mega upload, which is, I have to admit, I didn't even know existed until this happened, so never mind. But there's a bit of controversy about why this has happened at this particular point. Yes, it has something to do with timing it for SOPA and things like that, but also it appears that Mega Upload were going to release a rival to the music industry's current recording contracts called Mega Blocks, where artists would be allowed to keep 90% of royalties for anything that was sold through this new version of Mega Upload's music system. And also, they were going to pay artists for anything that was released for free that, uh, that people downloaded, which is a nice way of doing things. And apparently, they've been testing this out, and according to them, it works. What it works means is, of course, open to debate, but nevertheless, it's an interesting development, and then all of a sudden, they get shut down. And the thing is, this site's been around for years. They knew what was going on, and the police busted them just at this point, which raises some questions, like, are the police just really trying to bolster up old media? Or is this the fact that we've, it's been there for years and they've been collecting the data needed to get the warrant to shut it down and it just happens that it's happened at this point? Who knows? We probably won't for a long time. And even when the court date comes up and evidence is given, we'll still not know all the facts. So I'm going to let you make your own decision on that one. Next up, we have the Pirate Bay. Now this one is just weird. The Pirate Bay has decided that they're going to have a new download option called Fizzables. And this is apparently 3D data that can be used in conjunction with a 3D printer to print pirated objects. Basically now, Rule 34 of the internet has extended into the physical realm. And lots and lots of teenage boys can build their own fleshlights through pirated data. And if you don't know what a fleshlight is, good on you. Don't look it up. This, I'm, I don't know what to think about this. It's, it's a nice idea. If I were to create something that I thought was really nice, and said, hey, have a look at this, print your own copy, it's really cool. Then that's great, you put it up in Fizzables to let, you, uh, let all your users get a torrent of your physical object and make their own copy of it. But to be honest with you, I'm wondering how long it's going to take before all the data required to build a 3D printer is now online on Pirate Bay, so you can print out from your 3D printer or from your friend's 3D printer all of the information that you need to build your own 3D printer. It's like if they produced all the data for a bread maker maker. Hey, hey, Simpsons reference there. It's a nice idea, of course, having all of these physical things around. And medical research could definitely benefit from this, because all of a sudden there's going to be the possibility of widespread trading of data on. I, I need this object in this far-flung hospital in the middle of nowhere, but we don't have it. But I can download a copy of it and then make my own. So all of a sudden, revolutionary uh, 3D printer technology comes to those... Uh, medical things that are set up in crisis areas in the middle of Africa and things like that. And they can print life-saving medical equipment. This idea is fantastic, but I just know that it's going to be used to make blow-up sex dolls and things like that. But that's the internet for you, isn't it? If there's a way of making porn, they will make porn. Last but not least, the European Commission has decided that the data protection legislation that they produced in 1995 is not good enough in the modern world basically because companies are ignoring it routinely. People like Facebook, where if you decide that you don't want a Facebook account anymore and you try and delete it, you find that you can't. They will disengage your account and make it unavailable, but they will keep all of the data that they've collected on you and all of the data that you've uploaded. You upload that drunken picture of you at a party where you show your ass to a policeman, that's still online even if you delete your account, because they won't get rid of it. They keep everything. And the European Commission's went, no, 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 that's not what we said you could do. So they're going to, instead of pushing their legislation that they've got already, they're going to ramp it up with more teeth and bigger muscles and go rawr. Well, maybe they're not, but in legal terms they're going to go rawr and growl at these people and make them scared. So Facebook's not happy about this and Google and Yahoo haven't made any comment about it yet, but Facebook's really the one that will be going after with this one because 
basically this means that if I write to Facebook and say delete my data, they will go yes, yes we will, and not well, how, do, how about we just make it not accessible to you but we can still have a look at it if we want, because now they're going to have to go oh well, well all right we'll have to do it, unless there is a legitimate reason for keeping it. And let's face it, online most people have no legitimate reason for keeping any data on you, so that's good. But this being the age of the internet and therefore the age of the moron with a voice, the European Commission has made it very clear that this legislation cannot be used to delete your police and medical records. <laughs> oh, I can just see that happening. Someone right into the police going, can you just delete that bit where I nicked everything? And they'll go, no, we have a legitimate reason for keeping it. But anyway, that's all I wanted to talk to you about today. As usual, you can find links to everything that I've been talking about in the description bar below, so you can look up all this on yourself and make sure that I haven't just been making things up. And until I see you next time, my name is Zoe Clark Robinson, you've been watching the video, and I'll see you tomorrow.